The harvest season can be physically exhausting for farmers, mentally as well. KCAU 9 reporter Nick Wilson tonight taking a look at what resources are available to farmers and how family members can make sure the harvest ends without a tragic conclusion. It's our top story tonight at 10. Iowa State University Extension and Outreach staff have provided more than 1,500 one-on-one -on -one consultations with farmers about mental health resources since August of 2021. But local farmers say there's still more work to be done. John Gunderson is a farmer in Yankton. Over the years, he says he's known farmers who have struggled with their day-to-day -day mental health. I've known people who've committed suicide. Uh, I've seen what happens when, when uh, the frustration and the depression get so hard. Uh, I've seen the lives that have been really damaged. He says while there are resources available, they aren't enough to meet the demand. And he says there are too many farmers who choose to not seek any help at all. But actually, the hardest thing is convincing people to go get help. You get, still get back to the stigma of mental illness and the stigma of, of asking for help and receiving help. Debbie Borg is a Siouxland farmer. She says the extreme drought in Siouxland has been frustrating, but accepting what you can't control is part of being a farmer. You know, we've been weather dependent since the first year, you know, since, since farming began. <laughs> and um, you do learn, you, you have to work with Mother Nature. So having faith um, is very important to get you through these trying times. Amy Block is the executive director of Catholic Charities. That group provides mental health services to adults and children. Block says irritability, a lack of sleep, and mood changes can all be signs of mental health problems, and it's up to family members to ask the difficult questions. How they're, how they're doing, are they, are they having signs of depression, are they having feelings of wanting to kill themselves, which can be a hard question to ask, but it's a really important question to ask and to be that direct. Block says farmers' suicide rates are one and a half times higher compared to people working in other industries. For more information about resources available here in Siouxland, visit our website, SiouxlandProud.com. Nick Wilson, KCAU 9 News.